Welcome back to the channel, fellow bike geeks. And for those of you that are newcomers, then since this is a new channel of mine, definitely check me out at Camp Geeks as well as Tech Gooch and Geek Smart as well if you're interested in any of these product videos uh, because I have a lot of more over there uh, with their dedication with technology and camping over there. So this is my bike channel, Bike Geeks. And today I have another awesome little product for you. Uh, first of all, if you watched the program, if you haven't watched the first video, please do because I am giving the product away on the first video, so make sure you check that out. But that said, guys, this is an alternative. Kind of, you can kind of think of it as an alternative to the first video. I like to use it in addition to. Uh, but this is Lazine's Super GPS. Uh, Super GPS is basically a bicycle computer that can track your distance and information via G uh, from GPS. So rather than using your wheel, uh, for how far you've gone, this is like your phone actually mapping out your ride and giving you GPS based distance data. Now, a couple caveats to that. One, if you are using your cell phone, uh, great, so they're fantastic. And if you have, if you really do, uh, first check out my first video because I have an awesome mount for your phone. But that said, uh, the bad thing about using your cell phone is you're draining your cell phone's battery life. So if you drain your life, your battery over a very long ride without having a battery backup and you need to make a phone call, things come into play. Uh, this essentially solves that purpose. Second thing is that with your phone, you do actually lock onto satellites a little bit faster, a little bit more accurately because you're using both satellite based data as well as cell phone tower based data. This is going to go off of satellite based data. So uh, it does maybe take a little bit longer to lock on when you first turn the item on. And secondly, uh, if you do go into heavy uh, cover in a heavy canopy like tree cover, you can lose satellite signal here and there. Uh, and that's actually going to come back here in a moment to part of this review. So, but that said, let's go over exactly what it comes with. Uh, I'll bring you in for that here in a second and go over kind of its basic features. I'm not going to go through everything. Um, if you really want to know more about this, um, I you know, definitely check out the website. I'm going to post all links below to that. If you do purchase through the Amazon link I have below, I am an affiliate, just all that information out there. Uh, and I want to thank you for supporting my channel if you do decide to buy this and you decide to buy it through the link. So thank you. But that said, uh, I try to keep this as unbiased as possible. Yes, Lazine did send this to me. I did actually, you know, receive this for free to, to do this review. Um, I'm not using that in any way to shape my basis to this. I'm going to try to keep this as open and honest as possible because that's how I do all of my other channels. But that said, let's first bring it in. We'll open up the box. I'll show you all the goodies. And then we'll actually do some mounting on the, the wonderful bike behind me. All right. So this is the Super GPS, and this is the box that it came in. Uh, and I've, I mean, I've already obviously had it on my bike. But this is the mount for it right here. And this are these, I guess, are the two, the two different size rubber bands that you can use to mount this. That's going to be dependent on the size of the item that you're mounting it to, whether it's a stem or a handlebar on your bike. It does come with a charging cable. It is a micro USB charging cable. I think if I was to say one thing that I would change on this, I would change that over to USB-C now because everything's kind of changing over to that. And it's nice because you can flip-flop and you don't have to worry about specific ways to plug it in. But that's just what that is. Or I guess you like a uh, wireless charging, that'd be kind of nice. But then again, if you're uh, on the go and you want to charge this up from like a, U like a portable battery pack, like I did on my big trip that I used it on, uh, having just a quick, small little uh, USB cable is always nice versus a wireless charger. So uh, I do probably, I, would, I mean, I still like to be able to plug this into a computer and everything, uh, but USB-C is what I would change that to. Um, if you're familiar with, uh, and, and I should say, also comes with the instructions. If you're familiar with quad lock, which my first video actually is on, uh, it's a very similar mounting pattern uh, in that it locks on. <laughs> I'm awesome like that. Uh, so uh, it's kind of hard to do in your hands if you actually have it on the bike. You have to put basically you have to push it in and turn it. So it's really hard to do actually without it with just your hands. I've never actually tried it. All right, there we go. So using my palm. You can see how it, it actually has to be pushed in. If you try to turn it without pushing it in, it just doesn't work. You have to actually push it in and twist 45 degrees and she pops out. Uh, very similar to quad lock, very similar to uh, probably other mounts out there as well. Um, not to say brand with brand, but it's a fantastic mounting system that works awesome and holds, on to, holds it onto your bike very well. 
Um, that said, I'm gonna get into the actual use of it real quick. I'm gonna make sure that we have proper lineup with the camera. Um, bring it in a little bit maybe. There we go. And so this is the power button over here. So we're gonna power it on. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lock on the GPS. Uh, I do have this already linked to my phone, which if you have it linked to your phone, if you can see that, if I actually pull up in the, there we go, as you can see it, 61% battery of my phone left. If I actually pull up in the Lasign GPS app, I can actually see there's the rides that are actually on this right now, um, or on my device. There's the three on my device. These are actually on my phone, sorry. Uh, so on the device, on the phone, I've already, as you can see, I put those directly in there. Uh, navigation. Uh, you can actually see exactly where it is. I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> More app settings, account settings, or actually navigation. You wouldn't even see it because it's not actually uh, linked to GPS currently. Uh, Strava live segments, uh, all that. Lasign tracks kind of neat. You can actually show your live position. If you link this to your phone, you can, while you're riding, you can have this send your location to your phone, which will then send your location to a, uh, onto their, uh, basically onto a live page. You can send that link out to your friends or family members and they can actually watch what you're doing without using like a, a higher end uh, service for it. Uh, so it's kind of a, one of those nice little benefits that you get. And I apologize if you didn't see that very well. I don't think I was, I was kind of holding my phone off to the side. So as you can saw, see there. Uh, app settings, you know, I'm not gonna get into this too much, but you can change your time format, notifications, things like that. I have it set for auto, uh, Strava AutoSync, so no matter what ride I get here, it automatically syncs to Strava for me through my phone, and then it shares it as well. So uh, enough of the phone app. Let's just keep concentrating on this a little bit. Uh, you can see we have some buttons here. This is the back, this is the enter button. This one is a page button or menu button, as well as play, pause, and lap time. So if I push this once, it's gonna go to the page to see my my various things. So you can see if I just keep, I only have two pages set up. If you have, you can have up to like four pages of information basically. And every time I just click that button, it's gonna just change between those pages. If I push and hold, that's gonna go to the menu. Uh, and this is where you can actually change things. Alerts, uh, for instance, like I can go to uh, change if I wanna alert when I hit, I, right now I have it set for every mile, I get an alert. I can scroll down to ride time. Calories, you can set any of these alerts to let you know, hey, you hit a specific calorie, whatever. Uh, this is the back button, so we're gonna click that. Uh, auto, we can actually have it set to auto scroll, auto pause. Now here's what I'll think, say about auto pause. So I kind of brought this up before. This is GPS based, not a GPS plus cell tower base. So if you're in an area that it gets heavily, um, a lot of force canopy cover, you can actually, it'll pause itself even while you're riding and then it'll resume. Now I found, I actually ran, rode a segment, uh, it was a 24 or 25 mile segment uh, with auto pause off. And then on the way back, I turned it on specifically to test it out. So I ran 25 miles with it on and it made about almost a mile and a half to two mile difference because of it. Uh, and that was because, I mean, not joking, it was auto pausing left and right in specific segments of the trail that were very heavily wooded. Uh, so auto pause is only gonna work really well for you if you're in open areas. Auto pause, if it's in a canopy covered area, do not do it. That's what I've found at least. Uh, and of course I had my cell phone running the whole time so I could actually have something to, to base it off of for accuracy. Auto lap, uh, auto light. Uh, bike segment stuff, you're gonna actually, oh geez, enter. Uh, you can change your wheel circumference and bike weight. I haven't actually set those up yet for my new bike so I have to do that. Uh, personal information. Uh, all these things are, are, are things that you can change. If you have specific sensors, for instance, heart rate sensors, uh, speed sensors, things like that, uh, you can set these up so that it actually links with those other wireless sensors. Um, screen time. And so, oh, you spat back on there. Time. So obviously if you have it linked to your phone, it should automatically pull over that, pull open that time. Uh, information, a device for more things like that. Now you can also link this to your computer if you need to do any updates, but you can also uh, do everything through the app for the most part as well. So I'm not gonna get too crazy about all the various menu options. You can see there's quite a few in there and then just back out to pull back up here. If you actually wanna start a ride, you just click here. Of course, it's probably gonna, oh, it is recording. There we go, so maybe there actually things are. If you click this button again, it'll actually uh, do a, a lap count, so you can do a lap, and then I can do lap two. If I push and hold it, it's gonna pause it, and then 
wireless in this system is actually is stopped it is paused and i can just resume save discard main menu so if you're done with your ride save or discard whichever you want to do if you're not if you just stop it for a break then hit resume make sure you hit resume with the enter button when you're ready to go again and then i push and hold again and let's say i want to discard this one enter and it'll just discard it i won't even save it uh, and then you can actually save it and actually save it to a, a file. And then on your phone, you can change the name of the file, things like that. So pretty easy there. Let's head over to the bike and see how it actually mounts on the bike. How about that? So in this case, I'm going to actually mount it on the handlebar. So you can see there's the, on the bottom, there's the rubber round out section for either stem mounting it or bar mounting it. I'm going to go ahead and mount it on this side of the bar since it's closest to the camera. And I'm going to use, I'm going to try the smaller rubber bands first. Um, in this case, what I've done is I was, uh, I didn't, I don't do a, a same side to same side. I actually do a crisscross section because this is a, like basically a square. It's kind of screaming for it, right? So I kind of hook it on that and then just wrap it around. My cable's like that. It's going to be a little more difficult. Actually, you know what? The size of that bar, I think I'm going to do the bigger rubber bands. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, hook it on that little guy there. Make sure it's not in the way of the cables. And then just pull, and oh, I didn't get it. I missed. There we go. So that's one side done. And then basically you just go the opposite direction for the other side. So just get it hooked on one side there, bring it around, and hook it. And then once it's on, I mean, it's to be honest, it, it holds very, very well. And now it'll be a lot easier. I won't slap myself in the face with it. And then you just push, push, and twist to get it on and off. Uh, like I said, in the past, for the testing purposes, I had this running and my cell phone actually mounted with the quad lock on my, my bike. Uh, this is on my mountain bike, actually, and running both of them at the same time. Every ride I've done, for the most part, I've done uh, both of them at the same time. Aside from my last one, I kept my phone with me, and I had just this on the handlebar. Uh, it is one of those products that I I heavily like, and it, and, it, and it fits good, and it mounts good, and it doesn't move. And uh, water resistance, I had some rain on it before. Uh, with, you just got to make sure that the plug is is completely plugged up. So, pretty awesome. Uh, Lazine Super GPS. So the real question, right, is this right for you? Um, it really comes down to the type of person you are. If you do everything on your smartphone and you want to use your smartphone for everything, and you're not worried about bonding battery down things like that, you already have this. It's a very expensive piece of equipment, and it works great. It really does. But the beautiful thing about this is that you're not draining this down and I'm not worried about it. So I did some rides. Uh, like I said, I had a well, 140 mile round trip ride, um, which I used this basically. I did not run GPS on my phone at all. I just ran this and uh, accuracy was right on par with all of my other riders that were using their smartphone. I was the only one that wasn't. And I was not worried about battery life on this at all. Uh, I still used it for surfing the web. I still used it for taking photos. I still used it for everything you use your smartphone for. I just didn't use it to track my GPS progress. I used this. And I will tell you that these guys make a great cycle computer. If you're looking for a GPS for your, for your, your bike, there are several options out there. One of them is Garmin. One of them is Lazine. And there are a few others. You can get into a Lazine GPS for a lot less than you probably think uh, because you're probably used to seeing some of the other ones out there. And the size of it is awesome. Yes, it doesn't have, you know, it does not have a touchscreen. It doesn't have all the goody crazy features that you can get on a cell phone or some of the other t GPS units. But this is a cycle computer. This is for basic operation to track your purpose and do it well and do it accurately. And I think Lazine hit a home run with this guy. Um, I really do, and I really highly recommend it. I really do. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic product. It The battery lasts a long time. Um, I don't think I, I was probably in the 30 to 40% range when I finally got to my destination, and that's from leaving at 8 a.m. riding to like 5.30 at night. That's it on all the time. I didn't power it off. I paused it every time we stopped, but that was it. So... If you're interested at all in a nice bike GPS unit, highly recommend checking out the Super GPS by the guys over at Lazine. They make a fantastic product, and I can't wait 
to look at some of their other things as well. I actually have a Lizline bicycle light as well that I've had for years. Best bike light I've ever had. Um, with a few caveats, of course, there are other bike lights that are really nice, and I do have one other one that I'm going to show you guys soon. But that said, that's the Lizine Super GPS. If you have any questions at all, post those below. Please check them out online. Please, if you're if you're actually interested in purchasing this or any of the other Lizine GPS units, uh, visit my Amazon store below, and you can uh, purchase them through that and support the program. I appreciate it. Uh, but thanks to the guys over at Lizine for sending this to me because it's awesome. Uh, and that's probably why you, you just had confidence in your product. So, uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, check us out on social media at The Bike Geeks. And be sure to share this video so more people find it and we get bigger and more stuff in, okay? So make sure you watch the first video for a chance to win some free stuff. But otherwise, we'll catch you on a future video. See you soon.